Here are a few reasons why homosexuality is nothing to be proud of. Number one, I like sex with my wife. I like the way that our sexual organs complement each other and I cannot bear the ugh, nauseating thought of sticking my phallus in somebody else's bum or having one stuck up my bum. Number two, speaking of which, 58% of homosexuals have intestinal worms. It's unnatural to stick a phallus up somebody's bum. It's unnatural to do it repeatedly, and it's no wonder that 58% of homosexuals have uh, intestinal worms up their bum. I don't. I don't. I just go to the loo, and everything works as normal, with no worms when I poo. Number three. Related to that is the fact that because the female partner in a homosexual couple, male homosexual couple, repeatedly has a phallus stuck up his bum, um, the anus loses its muscle tone so that eventually it's lax. And many homosexuals actually wear nappies to contain the steady stream of fecal matter. Yeah. Number four, a third of homosexuals have problem with alcohol. This is an unnatural act. This is an unnatural act. And many homosexuals actually use alcohol to either deaden the pain or to numb themselves. This is unnatural. It's unnatural. Number five, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters of homosexuals have sexually transmitted diseases. No surprise there. The anus and the lining around the anus is very thin. It's not designed to have a phallus stuck up it. A vagina, on the other hand, has got lining that's designed for a phallus to receive it. The vagina is designed to have uh, a penis inserted into it. And because of that, it's got protective lining so that even uh, in promiscuous men and women, you are protected through the vaginal wall. There's no such protection through the anus. That's why three quarters of homosexuals have STDs. Number six, homosexuals are only 2% of the world's population, if that. And yet, they represent 67% of all HIV sufferers. And that's been one of the victories of the uh, homosexual lobby to make HIV uh, just a sexually transmitted disease. HIV is a homosexual disease. It's, it was a homosexual disease from the beginning and it remains a predominantly homosexual disease. Just like monkey, monkeypox was, we were put into a bit of a flap to do something about monkeypox. Like, why are we concerned? It's only affecting men who sleep with men in baths. Like, ugh, ugh, stop it. If you stop that, you stop the spread of monkeypox. Number seven. A fifth of homosexuals are pedophiles. Oh, let me put it this way. A fifth of homosexuals love the nursery. Not that way. Not that way. And it's shocking that heterosexual couples like my wife and I are not allowed to adopt. And yet local authorities are falling over themselves to get uh, homosexual couples as adoptive parents. And yet research shows that a fifth of them are pedophiles. Number eight. Homosexuals are very, 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 very promiscuous. It's not unusual over a lifetime for a homosexual man to have 1,000 partners. Number nine, homosexuals apparently, and we're being generous here, represent 2% of the world's population, and yet they represent a third of, of all pedophile rapists. A third of all pedophile rapists are homosexuals. Homosexuals are overrepresented in the loving the nursery uh, type crimes. Well done, homosexuals. Well done. Number 10. 
a quarter of children with lesbian parents, yeah, lesbians, you get in on it as well, um, have been sexually abused. A quarter of children with lesbian parents have been sexually abused. This is punching far above the average for the rest of the population. This is punching far above the rest of the population. Local authorities, take notice, do not place children with homosexual couples. The odds are just against you. The statistics are stacked against the safety of those children. Number 11, more than half of domestic abuse. More than half of domestic abuse cases happens with same-sex couples. Don't, don't preach about men abusing women and there are cases of even women beating up men. That's tragic. That's also tragic, but m more than half of all of all domestic abuse cases are in same-sex couples, and yet same-sex couples are a minority in the population. Again, they're punching far above their weight. They're punching far above the weight. There you are. Ten reasons and a bonus for you not to be proud. Instead. Get married, have sex with your wife, have sex with your husband, have children. That's something to be, to be proud of. Homosexuality, ain't nothing to be proud about that. Ain't nothing to be proud about that.